to Cragside. We're having a run up at Cragside today, cracking day. Uh, sun's out, no wind, slightly bit chilly but that's how you like it when you're going for a run. And uh, today we're just going to do the, uh, the, I think they call it the forest drive and um, we're going to run a loop which is about nine or ten kilometres um, and it's undulating so I don't know 100, 150 metres elevation gain if I remember rightly. Um, so it's just up and down, so good hill training as we prepare for our next uh, marathon that's coming up, or sorry, next half marathon that's coming up. This is one of the best places that I've been running ever, I think. Fantastic little loop around Cragside. Um, if you ever get the chance, come up to Northumberland. Um, Northumberland's a pretty big county, but if you ever get a chance to come up here, you should take a look at Cragside. Um, it's a fantastic place to come for a run, or even just a walk and day out. So my next race, what's it gonna be? Well, a couple of weeks. Um, it's gonna be the Edinburgh Half Marathon. Um, really looking forward to it. Um, not, not to running the marathon this year, which obviously didn't do in Manchester a few weeks ago. Um, don't feel like I've got the energy for that, so I didn't plan that in. Um, obviously we did get to the week or so ago as well. So we're really looking forward to going back to Edinburgh. It's a cracking course that shares the marathon with a half marathon. And uh, let's give a shout out to Kenny, Steve, Daniel, Helen and Robin. Um, people who have commented on the channel and possibly follow the channel a bit as well and uh, I think you're all running the marathon this year so uh, kudos to you and good luck hope you have a good race hopefully it's going to be a cracking day for you and um, hopefully it's not too windy I think a few of you in there are going for uh, sub three as well which will be uh, impressive if you do that I'll be going for sub 90 in that one um, that's my goal this year in the half marathon is to hit 90 minutes so let's see if we can get that done right now let's get back to the run The, uh, the half marathon um, starts 8 o'clock in the morning and then I think the, uh, the full marathon starts at 10 with waves after that and obviously over the, that weekend they've got the 5k, the 10k I think on as well so there's run, run events going on the Saturday and the Sunday but yeah I'm uh, really looking forward to it and um, I think my legs have come good for a half marathon distance anyway so we, uh, my PR is 1 hour 32 and 8 seconds I think it is yeah, the, uh, the Edinburgh Marathon um, and the Half Marathon really on the same course um, it's downhill for the first uh, 9 or 10k and I think it's got a little blip up hill in that around about 6 or 7k um, and then after that it's flat for the half or kind of very slightly undulating um, but flat enough you won't really notice it so very good chance of doing a PR in Edinburgh providing that uh, you don't get the wind just reminding me actually the uh, the first marathon that we ever did uh, was was supposed to be Edinburgh um, it's actually the first one I actually registered for and uh, I think it was 2020 when Covid hit and uh, obviously that didn't go ahead but if it had gone ahead uh, the wind would have been um, 50 mile an hour 45 50 mile an hour winds on the day so uh, to a certain extent we could probably be quite glad that we didn't have to run it that day um, don't get me wrong, like I'd rather run it than Covid not, happen, not have happened. Um, but yeah, so what are we in? Two kilometres in, climbing this hill up Crad's Clyde. Couldn't be in a better place. Obviously last year, 20, uh, 2022, we had that storm 
at kind of February, January, February time and uh, ripped down about a thousand trees apparently but this still place is this place is still pretty awesome and um, didn't realize how many trees I've got but it's obviously a lot more than a thousand tens of thousands hundreds of thousands or something like that um, and these kind of pine trees they're not natural from this area and um, they're artificially planted by the uh, the original owner of Cragside when it was somebody's house now it's owned by the Plastler Trust oh there we go there's a hint of the Ruddy Dundrum season pink flowers so So should we have a little recap on Manchester? Just a little one. Um, because I've had a chance to have a look at the data and um, I'll put it, pop it up on the screen as well. So my heart rate for the Manchester Marathon in 2022 was average 158. Bear in mind I wasn't wearing the heart, the heart rate strap, but I think it was pretty much accurate. There wasn't any spurious spikes or anything like that. Um, and then this year it was 161. So maybe you could say maybe slightly higher a few bits higher or it could have been about the same so I'm just gonna call that about the same um, and on these two graphs that I've got up here you've got the pace of 430 minutes per kilometer highlighted with a red line on both and and you can see the performance um, so how have I improved over the year yes I was obviously going for a different pace my pace was 445 last year this year was 430 but I basically kept that pace um, from start to finish on both races or what I was intended to do apart from the point where I hit the cramp I hit the cramp so you can see the difference um, in, in pace that I managed to hold for the same heart rate which is encouraging um, you know and does that mean I might be able to do it next year on the same track in the same conditions at the same heart rate but for 415 minutes per kilometer so three hour pace you know and as I'm getting a bit smarter with my training and understanding the body and how that works possibly um, I possibly not but then also let's look at the stage where we got cramp as well uh, we got cramp there at uh, 36 kilometers or so 37 kilometers or so at Manchester 2022 this year 2023 and um, we didn't really strike us till 39 I kind of slowed down because I knew something was going to happen um, kind of before that but try to wait it off a little bit however the prick like you know they look at the paces I didn't really drop below um five something in 2022 and um, but i was below six and the sevens for 2023 so that's a bit of an interesting insight but it's always good to go back when you've got something like that you've got the same race the same conditions and compare how things are going so it's really encouraging to see that we've improved so much and um, over the year i feel like it is anyway and, and when i was going for 310 you know i could have gone for if certain circumstances hadn't gone, maybe I got my, my nutrition slightly off. I don't know, I have to think about it. Um, we could have been a lot closer to 310 without the cramp on. 315 should have been a good one, really. Anyway, so that's been our fantastic run out of Kirkside. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, if not in Edinburgh. <laughs>